Hello. For this video, I'm going to show you, or probably just remind you of something that we can do with one paper strips that are one inch or less. Um, we can fold them over and make them into paper chains. Do you remember doing this? I still like to do this at Christmas time and for birthdays. It's a lot of fun to make them. And that's all you need is a one inch or less strip to make a wide width rather to make these. Okay, and then you can make them as long as you want to. So that's one idea. So now, of course, because I'm a card maker, I've taken it to a ridiculously silly level. <laughs> and I've made a teeny tiny paper chain for on my cards. <laughs> and I want to show you how I'm doing this. <laughs> you can see these are very, very tiny slivers. They're approximately an eighth of an inch wide. Um, and it doesn't really matter how long they are. But what I'm doing is I'm putting it on. I take a piece like this and then I put it through. And then I put my pencil on on one end and I wrap it around until it overlaps, let it overlap a little bit. Then take my scissors, snip it, take the glue, put glue on it, fold it over and hold it down. And these are really fun to make. I've made these into necklaces before and into, into bracelets and it's a lot of fun. Um, I also have a mini Christmas tree, so I really do, I like to make them for, for on the mini Christmas tree. But I wanted to show you, I've never actually thought of putting these on a card. But then I thought, well, why wouldn't? Why wouldn't they work on a card? They'll work. So I pulled this card out because it matches the colors that I've got here. Put this other one on here first. And using a pencil just helps to keep them nice and, and uh, similar sized. Alrighty, so teeny tiny paper chain. Then you can put it on your card like so. And first you just gotta figure out what size you want it. So let's see, I'd want it about this size. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip this part off because I just want this size on. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little glue here and a little glue here. And I'm gonna put the flat side down so it will glue. And I'm gonna put the flat da side down here so it will glue. And I'm just gonna hold on to those just for a moment until it's glued down. And then I've got a little paper chain. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and yes, these are definitely for hand delivering cards. Um, if you want to mail them, then you would have to wrap them very well, put bubble wrap paper around them to hold them on. But you can actually hang it on a card. Isn't that cute? I like the idea. So the idea came first for making these big, huge ones that we used to make every year, and then making little paper necklaces and bracelets and now for on cards you can do this in your scrapbooking that would be really cute you could certainly use them as dangles too they're a lot of fun if you make smaller ones then you can you can hang things so you can make it like a little little chain that'll hang off of something so like for instance like you could put a pin through it and you can hang it from here you could add a little crimp bead, or not a crimp bead, um, what is it called? The little chain thing, the little thing you put your keychain on, you could, you could stick it on one of those and you can dangle it off of something. So you can make little dangles. You could even make earrings if you wanted to, that would be kind of cute. <laughs> All right, so there you go, there's another idea. Mini paper chains, is that adorable or what? If you like this idea, please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.